Yeah, I'll do that. Olivia. Hi. Listen, Harley told me. Uh, I am so sorry about the baby. That has to be about the toughest thing anybody can ever possibly go through. And, and, and to be alone... Uh... Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Um, um, how, how are you? How's Marina? She's fine. Yeah, yeah good. Thanks for asking. Good. I, I need to go, okay? Cause... Olivia? Yeah. If there's anything I can do for you, just, just ask, okay? Thanks, Frankie. You got it. I'll see you. Oh, Sam is right. I can't keep doing this much longer. Miss Spencer. Huh? Yeah. Miss Winslow has been looking all over for you. Did you say why? There was a meeting with the governor and his staff. Oh, the convention. Oh, are they still in there? They waited a while and then they went ahead. He was uh, not looking too thrilled. Well, you know, I don't need the commentary, okay? I can't expect to, to remember everything. I have a lot on my plate. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I will call her. I'll talk to her myself. Thanks. Hello, Mr. O'Neill. Oh, hi. Hi. You, you know, please, just call me Jeffrey. Huh? Oh. I, I was just hoping that you're still enjoying living here at the Beacon. Well, if I wasn't, I'd probably move. Uh, if there's, you know, anything we can do for you? You know, I found that when people ask me that question, it normally means, what can I do for them? Well, how would you feel about giving out some free legal advice. How would you feel about giving out a free room? Maybe we can work something out. You know, I feel pretty generous today. So I tell you what, you put an extra mint on my pillow tonight and I'll give you some free legal advice now, okay? Got a deal? Hmm. Okay. Ask away. You have legal counsel here for the hotel, right? So why are you asking me? This is personal. It's about Philip. I, I don't know if you're aware, but he's getting treatment at Ravenwood Sanitarium. Yeah, I'm, I am aware. Yeah, and I, I just, I want some information on patients' rights. Patients? You're worried that the family is going to take advantage of his current state, aren't you? Does his commitment negate his rights? Is he automatically declared incompetent during his stay? Is his commitment voluntary? Yes. So, would a decision that he makes while he's in there hold up in a court of law? What kind of decision? Does a signature hold weight? I mean, could he, for instance, sell a property or sign a contract or a will? A, a will? Hmm. Well, you know, a will always has language in that contract that says something about being of sound mind. But Philip has never legally been declared incompetent, so... In the eyes of the law, he would have the same rights as you and I. Great. But there is a catch. Any decision that he makes can be challenged. And uh, considering his current position and who his family is, I'm going to take a guess that they will be challenged. Well, not necessarily. What are you up to? Me? No, I'm just, I'm looking out for the best interests of someone I love. Well, you know, I, I am an officer of the court, so oh. I would be obliged to report any crime or suspected crime. So if you're planning on doing some sort of an end run. No, 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 there's no end run. I mean, would I come to the DA for advice if there were? I don't know. I don't know you very well, would you? Philip wants this as much as I do. Well, you know what? You're a hard woman to say no to in any state of mind. Philip and I are in total agreement about this. Mm. And is Philip aware of what he's agreeing to? Well, I got the all clear from Dr. Langham. He says that he's rational and able to process and make decisions. Uh, well, it sounds like you have the good doctor in your corner, or should I say pocket? <sighs> like I said, I'm just looking out for someone I love. Yeah. Well, if you're going up against Alan and Alexandra in the process... No, I never said that. Well, I'm not saying that you did. I'm just saying that... If you were going up against the dynamic duo, then it would be best to have your I's dotted and your T's crossed because they're gonna give you a fight. Well, I'm ready, and there's nothing they can do to stop me. <laughs>